from my own personal story. Yeah. Senior ditch day was one of the few days my senior year I was actually at school the whole day. That's kind of funny. And it because. Nobody was there. It was amazing. Shut up. You don't think Ryan is famous? Cousin Ryan. You gotta... Hey, what's up, YouTube friends and family? It's Cousin Ryan. Hey, Trager. It's Josh. And we what just PJ? got PJ. Whatever you want to call me. Whatever you <laughs> I Dude, I like the nickname PJ, though, man. That's such a great nickname. I agree. I'm down. Um, we're out on a mission tonight. This video will be... We're, we're under in collection mode, in hunting mode tonight. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking for all the items we can find that are Sour Patch Kids that... We haven't had yet. ...are not gummy. That was like... The, that dude was waiting for the weird... That was such an odd... This car was yeah, waiting over here, waiting to turn the wrong direction where we were at and ended up... Anyway, whatever. Yeah. We're looking for Sour Patch Kids items to try anything Sour Patch Kids that are not actual like gummy Sour Patch Kids. Yeah. Ryder and I and his buddy Seth did a review similar to this. A couple years ago. Two years ago, summer yeah. 2019. And right before the pandemic hit. About six months before the pandemic. Well, it was a little more than six months. Yeah. But we, since then, I've seen several other items, Sour Patch Kids themed uh, since then that we didn't review in that video. So we thought yeah. it was time to do a sequel. And that's what we're on the mission for tonight. We're gonna hit up a couple grocery stores and see what we can collect. I feel like we we're also looking for just anything that's just not like normal sour fish shit. Like even right, flavors. right. That's like just any exactly bizarre, it. fun, funky. Yep. One hundred percent. Oh, yeah. So that's our mission for tonight. Yeah. Should you choose to accept to follow us, and we've chosen. Yeah, we've that's right, it. man. We chose to accept it. Now we just gotta find a parking place to accept. Speaking of cereal and birthday cake flavor, find one. Fruity Pebbles birthday cake. Ooh. Although it I'm wasn't, it was that. birthday cake pebbles. It wasn't Fruity Pebbles. It was not birthday cake fl flavor. I've decided that Cocoa like, Pebbles are pretty good. Yeah, you're a big chocolate guy. I'm a huge fan. See, I don't know. I'm Ooh, just not. Tricks, tricks with marshmallows or mallows, if you will. Mallows. I think World Tour. Joel and I may have tried those. It's interesting to me too how Kellogg's has frosted flakes with marshmallows and Lucky Charms has marshmallows with frosted flakes. Right, have you seen these? You love Arizona's. No, I have not seen those. I may pick. Do you want to grab one or two? All right. Since we're big on Oreos here, is there anything that's jumping out at you right now that mint? These mint ones right here. Oh, right here? I do. I think those are in the stack. Java I chip. think those are in the stack. Carrot cake. Birthday no, cake. Thank you. Caramel coconut. Birthday cake. There he goes. There you go. There it is. <laughs> probably is pretty good. And this right here, too. All about the mega stuff. Chocolate hazelnut looks interesting. Caramel. Oh, how about caramel coconut? That looks interesting, too. Oh, yeah. I agree. Those, those are good. Those Nutter butter. What do we got going on with the nutter butter here in the no, blue no, blue no, packaging? Chocolate What's the difference? I don't know what the difference is. Double nutty here, but that right. blue is throwing me off. Maybe that's just a promotional thing. Have you had they, these wafers? These are really oh, good. Those, that's what my parents were all up in. Oh, what? Like what? Stop. Oh, God. Hang you, on to those. <laughs> uh-huh. These are the best gluten-free cookies around. Are they really? Yeah, like they actually I okay. mean, well, taste like gluten, but they're not but they're vegan. Huh. Pretty can good. you, wait, can you taste the difference then between the ones with gluten and the ones yes, without? But it's, but it's actually not as big of a difference as compared to others. That's okay. It's actually fascinating. Gotcha. I feel like they probably taste better because they're also vegan, so. Right. Because they don't have dairy in them. Exactly right, my friend. Interesting. Exactly right. Okay. So cool. if you're lactose intolerant, you can enjoy Oreos. No. Did we, I'm sorry, did we, did we address the, the, so yeah. It's more like. The peanut yeah, butter see? pie, that almost sounds pretty the good. The peanut butter pie? Yeah, but that, uh, one would be very, that one would be good too. Yeah. They're really rolling it out. Well, must buy two or more. See, this is the thing. They get you. These packs are about two fifty, two ninety nine right. anywhere. And then they give you a sale price. Kohl's. Kohl's is the worst. The worst for that. Yeah. Given their regular price is something astronomical. I'm like, look at it, it's fifty percent off, sixty percent off. And now it's just barely the regular price anywhere else. Right. Yeah. I'm not mad. 
they're not Sour Patch Kids, but well, they we, are we've been looking for mystery like, flavored Pop Tarts. We have been looking every everywhere for these. For the people. They were requested for the people, absolutely. So there they are. Future review. Yes. Sweet. I'm going to take some responsibility for this one. We got completely skunked tonight yeah. as far as Sour Patch Kids stuff goes. But we're all about the chase. It's still out oh, yeah. there. So this is going to be the, the first the video yes. in hopefully a series of two videos so we get it right next time. Uh, looking for non-gummy Sour Patch Kids. Exactly. Look at this. Do you say that keto or keto? Keto. Keto? Keto-friendly birthday cake mix. Guys, Ryan has birthday cake right now. I, you know, he does. look at me. Mug, mug treats, rainbow chip cake. Unicorn cupcake. This is, are okay. I've had, I've had some, some of those. The which ones? The like mug the treats? Mug, kind of, yeah. You know, They're I okay. had not that brand, but it, yeah, I it forget that which brand, one it was. It was like kind of what brand, brand? But it was kind of hard to get it. Ooh. To a decent Funfetti Oh, oh yeah, we're Funfetti 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 chocolate Dude, Funfetti chocolate Funfetti Oreo sounds Funfetti chocolate Oreo brownie mix But that You know what That almost looks like Brand recognition That doesn't There's nothing Funfetti About the Oreo one You know what I mean I agree Same, oh, same with the Oreo cookies and cream Over here That looks amazing though And maybe I'm interested In the chocolate one Oreo Funfetti one. See what I'm saying Like maybe that's their thing Maybe. Maybe it's Oreo fun, Teddy. Oh, I thought you said Boreo. No. As in no. boring. No, I see not for me. <laughs> Oreo's my jam, bro. You know. Aqua blue guy. We did. We okay, so Pop-Tart. we're fulfilling the request here to search out the mystery Pop Tarts. Um, I'm going to apologize up front. I remember the comment, the request. I'm sorry, I don't remember your username, but we will find you again. Give you a shout out. The shout out will be given. The soft. The soft cookies confetti uh, made with real butter. I, I love the idea of that. And then Ryder found him some Arizona green tea mix. Not so the, it wasn't a complete video, waste. But it's still cool. It wasn't a complete waste, and it was good quality time. It was. Yeah. PJ was supposed to be here for this, but Ryder's heading back to Missouri soon. Misery. Misery to go to school and we need to get this done. Josh is away to camp with his church and we just didn't have any more time for the three of us to get together. So we're gonna carefully unwrap and eat some of these now and then at the end of this video, we'll tack on uh, Josh's uh, review of these items as well. So his, his thoughts on the notes. On the, on the sour notes, the fruity notes of mm. the Sour Patch Kids. You're not gonna let him live that down, are you? Oh no. No. Uh, but, now we said no gummies, but we thought we'd open this up with the mystery flavor Sour Patch Kids. So, these were purchased at 7-Eleven. There you go, bud. There's one. Am I now a little this, mangled? This looks like it would be, it is a little bit, huh? Like a lemony flavor I or was something. Thinking like or lemonade. Coconut or something, but... I need a couple more. Yeah. That's that good. Oh, there's a hint. What is it? It gives laughs and can be a riot, because when it flies, nobody's silent. The BS? It gives laughs and can be a riot. I'm gonna just, look it up. Just when it flies, nobody's silent. Wait a minute. Hold on, I didn't look it up yet. In the words of PJ, I'm getting notes of banana. You see, that's almost kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. Sour Patch Kids Mystery Flavor. Okay. 
Oh. It's white pineapple. Oh. I was way off, man. It gives last okay. and can be a right. Just when it flies, nobody's silent. I don't get how that has to do I don't it. get what that is either, but I can taste it now. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the difference is between pineapple and white pineapple, but maybe it's just because of the... It's good, though. Yeah. It's a very smooth, flat flavor. It's not very tart. Um, it's not overpowering at all. It's pretty mellow. It's a mellow pineapple. Maybe that's what the white pineapple is. is it's not oh. super uh, acidic. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. What do you want to do next? Um, these are the non-gummy items now. We should probably get to these because they'll melt. I'll awesome. save them for later. Save them? Yeah. Uh, let's go into the marshmallows, I guess. Okay. So, we'll start off strong with Sour Patch Kids marshmallows. Marshmallow. The regular Sour Patch Kids. Blue raspberry, lemon, red berry, orange, and lime. Now carefully. I'm going to do that because you're going to carefully do it. Gonna... <laughs> Terrible. Ugh. Oh man, I don't even know here. Go to the shower. Whoa. They are kind of cute though. And they are just marshmallow in the middle, just white marshmallow. They're okay. They taste better than they smell. Oh, the... The smell they, is gross. I, I was almost scared to eat these. I'm like, these are bad. Absolutely. Okay. What, Next marshmallow. That wasn't too bad. We'll save this one for us. Okay. So now we have um, watermelon star pet shits. Marshmallows. Well, They can see. Ugh. That doesn't smell as bad. It's still... It smells like something not good, though. It smells like really old watermelon. You can see there's the little watermelon shapes. My trusty assistant here wasted no time. Honestly, I'm a big fan of the gummy watermelon Sour Patch Kids. I probably choose those over the regular Sour Patch Kids. Really? I'm getting gummy. Yeah, I like them a lot. Your mom actually turned me on to those years ago. They're pretty good. I'm more of an original fan. No, original's good too. Yeah. But watermelon, I, I'll, I'll get them here and there. I like these. Of the marshmallows, I like the watermelon ones the best. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Next. Uh, we got snack pack. Uh. The Sour Patch Kids Snack Pack. What flavor is the red one? What is that? Red berry. Red berry. Let's try red berry then. Spoons at the ready. I'm kind of hooked on these watermelon ones already. Oh my. Now, are you a Jello fan? Ah. Uh, I am if they actually like break apart. You want me to uh, quote my father? Huh. You better let me do that. Probably. <laughs> I don't know why. No, but they just won't come off. They won't. There's one. Okay. No, I, better get, I better get this one off. I'll eat that one. No, no, no. It doesn't matter. It's freshly opened. There. You can have that one. Oh. All right. It just it ripped down the side of the cup. Those are really stuck. I, usually they just snap. They do. Here, yeah. I was just expecting it. That's snap. the sour part of them. <laughs> sour, and then now it's going to be sweet. Well, I'm sorry. What'd you say? Do you like Jello? It's all right. Okay. I don't hate this. It tastes like normal jello with like a little bit of sour to it. Just a little bit. Just a hint of sour. A sour note. I was going to say, I'm getting notes of sour. Yeah, I've had enough Not of bad. it. Not bad. I've had enough of it, though, because I know we've got one more jello flavor coming up. It isn't bad. There used to be a restaurant downtown called the Acapulco, 
when I was growing up. And of course, I had a very limited palate, taste-wise, things yeah. that I like. So at a Mexican restaurant as a kid, I always got a corn dog. But it came with a little cup of red jello. That was oh. like the best part. Oh my god. There we go. Now I tend to like blue flavored things over uh, red. Okay. Like ices and I mean I like red, don't get me wrong, but if I can choose a lot of times I go towards blue. I noticed you chopped that up before you dug into it with your spoon. Oh I did that because there's always a layer of juice That's on a, the top and so it, Oh. Alright. So it's not really like chopping it, it up, I'm just no. getting reservoir. I, I, I noticed there was a strategy to what you were doing. Not a big surprise. I, I do like the blue over the red. Mm. You? Eh. Eh. It's I was not... I was really excited for both of them. I thought they were gonna be good. Mm -hmm. They were both just kind of whatever. Really? As the kids would say, meh. It's okay. All right. All right. Star Peshers popsicles. Purchased at the dollar store. Dollar store exclusives. Hold on a second. We got the marshmallows at Walmart. Yes. I think we got the these. gummies. The gummies were at the. Is these were at Walmart. Safeway? Those were at no. Those were at the Walmart grocery store. Oh, that's the right. The snack yeah. packs, the Jello, uh, the gummies at Seven Eleven, and, and this these at were the, the dollar, dollar store. store. Gosh, man, you got gas. But not. Just keep going. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, it does appear these are more frozen. Some of them. Isn't that weird how long these have been in the freezer and yet... These ones are more frozen the than the outside. Than yeah, these ones. ones are... But that's still liquid. That one's still liquid, but the rest of them are frozen pretty solid. I'm going to just rip these two off the edge for me. Yeah, then. They rip apart like from each other pretty well. Mm -hmm. We should have brought scissors out here again, huh? Yeah. We apparently d never learn. Apparently not. Not horrible. I don't think in popsicle form the blue raspberry is very good. No. I almost want to say I kind of like it. Almost. Eh. Almost. You're not having it, huh? I could pass. Okay. Good job. That's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You're ridiculous. I didn't say you were. I know, I'm just saying you are. I know. I don't know. This one tastes a little bit flat. It does. There's no sour. I'm not getting any notes of sour. But, eh. I mean, it's a little bit sour. I'm just not getting much of a flavor flavor. I'm getting a flavor. It's very sweet. Okay. I've had enough of those. I could probably pass on the Sour Patch Kids. Uh, what would you call it? Slush Popsicles, bars. Slush bars or whatever. Uh, freezer flavor, bars. Flavor ice. 
back in. All right, what's the last thing we got on the table there, bud? So, it's not quite Sour Patch Kid. We saw it when we got the marshmallows, and we're like, well, we got to try them. Swedish Fish Marshmallows. And why are those a, a big try for us? Why do we need to try those? Because my grandma loved Swedish Fish. She did. Yep. Absolute and favorite. I candy. can't see Swedish Fish in any form without thinking of your grandma. Oh, absolutely. That's just like, that's just the way it goes. And Grandma Jean. Who doesn't love Swedish Fish? And who doesn't love grandmas? Very that's valid point. point. Very good point. Ugh. Is it bad? It's not. It's, I mean, it's about the same as the others. Now, other than the memories of Swedish fish with your grandma, do you like Swedish fish? Oh, Outside absolutely. Of that yeah. Nostalgia. Okay. I like Swedish. Fish. Just the regular ones. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Standard marshmallow. I'm getting uh a slight Swedish fish flavor out of it. Not much. Just a little. I think with these and the Sour Patch Kids marshmallows, you'd have to be doing some sort of a novelty like cupcake or yeah. cake or some kind of pastry that... These aren't any anything that you're going to like roast these, or... Yeah. Oh, oh. Well. I guess you could roast them. I was thinking of more of like some sort of decoration for a themed yeah. cake or something, but... Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of sugar. It is. It's a lot of sugar. It is. Um, I think I like those Swedish fish better than I even like Peeps, though. And you know, I really, like, I love Peeps. Like these Swedish fish? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. They could make Swedish fish Peeps, and I think I would buy them. You could probably sell uh, sell them out of ever uh, everywhere. They might, huh? Yeah. People like flavored Peeps better than. At least I think they do. I don't know. Do you guys like flavored? Peeps? better than the, the standard peeps. Yeah. All right. Well, did you find anything in this mess that you would ever eat again? The mystery flavor. And those are standard. Not standard, but, but they're gummy, like, yeah. They're gummy. So, yeah, I would have to agree. I don't really I mean, have the, the Swedish fish and like the sour patch kid ones, like if they were on like a cupcake or whatever, I wouldn't like yeah, Pass the on. watermelon marshmallow ones they're are okay. probably my favorite out of all of this. Even though they're sour patch kids, I did see them like if you had like a little like really like fruity theme yeah. with your party or pastries or whatever, just throw them on there. There's nothing on this table right now that I would turn down under no uncertain terms. Mm -hmm. Nothing I would really search out either. However, the previous video when we did the sour patch cereal that had to be some of the most disgusting stuff I've ever had. There was nothing on this table that disgusted me. Oh, uh, quite to that, that level. That level, no. The smell of the Sour Patch Kids marshmallows was a little bit gross, but I think uh, overall these are not great, but they're not bad. Yeah. There's no reason to turn them down if they were offered to you. Yeah. At least try them once and build your own opinion. Agreed. Okay. Well, with that, I'm going to say... Good night and be well. And wait a minute, we're not done. We're not done quite yet. Josh needs to try out this mess as well. Hey, what's up, everyone? I got PJ here now to sample the Sour Patch Kids snacks that are not Sour Patch Kids. I love Sour Patch Kids, bro, as yeah. you well know. So, Ryder and I already tried this stuff, and honestly, it's a new day, it's a new week. I might like this stuff more than I did before, or I might wow, hate it more than I did. So Hope's, I, I don't know. Hope man. Springs eternal. It really does. Um, Speaking of, I miss Ryder. Ryder, we so miss you. I. Just throwing so it out I. there. But you know what's it's awesome about that is there's so many videos we did when he was here. That's awesome. He and I, the three of us, yeah. like it's going to be scheduled out until next summer. So Good. we still get we still get us. Ryder, Ryder will be here on the channel like eternally. Nice. All yeah. right, so. You ready? Yeah, what did you think? Okay, we're going to start off with... These are a mystery flavor. Oh, no, dude. Remember the last mystery flavor? I know. The, the, mystery the, the garlic. Going? All right. These are really good. They are really good, huh? Are they peach? No. That's a good guess. Watermelon? Nope, nope. 
Are they in the melon family? They're in the fruit family. Well, Tropical you. fruit. Tropical. Ooh. Who's mango? At what point do I have to keep guessing before you'll tell me? Just throwing it out there. Um, they're a white version of a fairly familiar fruit. Wow. I didn't know there was a white version of it, by the way. And I don't know if that's just made up for the Sour Patch Kids. These are amazing. Or, by the way, I will acknowledge Like, amazing, that, amazing. They are really good, huh? Like, oh, yeah. I've got to acknowledge the hypocrisy when I said we'll try things that aren't Sour Patch Kids, and the first thing we try are Sour Patch Kids, but... That's funny. It's a mystery right, flavor. Dude. I give up. Look me up. It's a very controversial pizza topping. Pineapple? White pineapple. Wow. Yeah. Friends, this is, this is groundbreaking. Here's why. Josh, that's me. PJ, that's me. I do not like pineapple. Are you serious? Absolutely. But wow, these I, I think I knew that. Are really good. They are really good. I would not put these on pizza, though. No. Well, now maybe we should. Those are good. Maybe I, I got to like try me a white pineapple. I don't even know where I'm you get I'm super impressed, pineapple. bro. I don't know either. White? No, I, I hope I didn't just say that. white. These are really good. You should, like, you okay. should totally get these. These are 7 really Eleven. Good. 7 Eleven. Yeah. All right. Oh, my goodness. What's next? Um. Sour Patch Kids Marshmallows. Ooh. Gotta tell you, friends, I'm concerned. Alright. Oh, that's sour. Blue. Blue one. I was going to die. Oh, wow. You weren't kidding. Wow. Um, and I don't feel like they were that sour when Ryder and I tried them. Here's the thing. The flavor's not bad, but it's the mentality for me because I'm eating a marshmallow. Oh, I'm just yeah. not it thinking that off. they should taste like this. Yep. Yeah. So if winner in the clubhouse still is the pineapple. Okay. These to try, I wouldn't buy. Are these watermelon? Watermelon marshmallows. Ooh, okay. Water. Oh, so we're going to go. And I got to tell you, my favorite... Sour Patch Kid gummy is the watermelons. So are mine. Okay, this is good. I do like it. I'm, I'm a fan. Okay. So, could these be s'morable? Impossible, right? Oh, I don't know, man. Because I'm usually a s'more is with chocolate, right? Yeah, and, and I'm not big on... That would not go good with chocolate, no. right? Uh-uh. So... Watermelon's better than just the regular. I have the blue raspberry. And just for fun. These Swedish fish mallows? Swedish fish. Ryder and I picked these up because his grandma on his mom's side was a huge Swedish fish fan. Nice. I have a friend that's a huge Swedish fish guy myself. I I like them. I prefer Sour Patch over, but... off it has the Swedish fish flavor. It does. It's a little bit delayed, though. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. I think the watermelons are still my favorite, though. I agree. I agree. Not bad. Uh, but, still. These okay. can't beat the original. All right. Should we go with the... Uh, yeah, dude. A drink? Uh, the, that's Jello. Oh, is this Jello? Yeah, it's Sour Patch Jello. Wow, dude. Now right. I'm nervous. All right. I'm... Uh, get a red. We can try both of them. Yes. Uh. Look at that. Oh, oh, see, Ryder and I ran into that too where it destroyed one of the cups trying to. It's alright. Live TV for you here, seeing how much we struggle. Oh. No big deal. <laughs> no big deal there, friends. Okay, this is the. This is red. Is this red berry? It doesn't say on the actual individual. It must be cup. red berry. It Let's must try be. this. Yeah. I don't remember if I like this or not when we... Wow. Not typically a massive jello flan. Flan. Fan. Flan. But dude, the flavor like bursts, jumps out at you. Yeah. Do you I'm remember, okay with this. I'm okay. Did you and your family, family ever eat at Acapulco when it was downtown when we were kids? 
Was that a stupid kidding? question? No, are you kidding, dude? All right. Did you ever get the corn dog and it came with a cup of red jello? I never got the corn dog. But can I tell you that there's this? I was such a weenie little kid. We'd go to these great Mexican restaurants and I'd always get like the most American food they had. A weenie. Corn dog or a hamburger, cheeseburger. Because I gotta tell you, they had this dessert there, this Oreo dessert uh -huh. that was like a mile high, that was filled with. Uh, that was oh my goodness, just layered on top of layer like a volcano uh -huh. with caramel over it. Nice. Still to this day, the best Ooh. dessert I ever had. When Acapulco closed, I shed a single tear. Uh -huh. It was like really. Yeah. It made me bum. Just for the nostalgia, I miss it. I agree. And though. since then, nothing has lasted. No. They had a great Brazilian uh, churrascaria that was there that's well, gone. It's, and it's split into but two yeah. places now. What? It's a bar and a restaurant. Like, it, Acapulco always had a bar, but now it's like a separate bar gotcha. and a separate restaurant. Hmm. So, wow. Okay. Also bursting with flavor. Of the two, I'm going to pick the red berry Are you? over the blue raspberry. Okay, I generally so is that personally. Do you tend to gravitate towards blue over red if we're just gonna go by colors? Typically, I mean, not no, color the color. Typically, color yes, dessert. color wise, I do. But mm -hmm. the red just has a better flavor to me. They're both fine. It's just I'm really trying to like the blue more because I'm more of a blue like blue icy blue no. whatever. But yep. I'm just not feeling it. But I would tell you, as Jello goes, I would almost take these over the regular Jello. Some of the regular Jellos are just they're fine. There's a little. But there's a little more flavor in these, there in is. my opinion. And I wouldn't... It's not quite sour. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree There's with that. a little tartness. I'd call it tart more than sour. Tart's a good word. Okay. Are we going now? To with now? Yeah. Oh, yes, dude. Yeah. Do you have a preferred... So I'm going to try the blue. Okay. On this one. Just give you my thoughts on the blue. I love... I mean, Otter Pops were my jam and my peanut butter. I still like Otter Pops. Oh. You know what I don't like about Otter Pops now, though? Oh, dude, this even has, like, the flavor. You know that, that you know the aftertaste you get when it was really cold from, like, it felt like the plastic? It even has that to it. It does, huh? Wow. I gotta tell you guys, it's so hot here today. In it's, the 90s. It's toasty. I'm, like, sitting here sweating. And this just hits breath. the spot, mm -hmm. man. I think this is almost better because it's so hot. I agree. If we were doing this in November, I wouldn't feel the same way. Not at all. This has, to use your word, a good sense of tartness and sweetness at the same mm -hmm. time. I'm a fan. Um, Favorite flavors of Otter Pops. Go. Oh, man. Oh, that's such a hard question. Is it really? It is, though. I feel like it's... I feel like this is easy. I feel like in order it is pink, which that they believe is fruit punch. You know, I was gonna say pink, honestly. Well, that's why you and I are yeah. close. Um, followed by blue. Okay. Which I think it's blue raspberry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then red. Okay. In my opinion. I always kind of liked green. I gotta throw green in there too. Wow. I don't. I yeah. know I've had all the flavors. I can't recollect green. Just that lime was like really refreshing mm. but you know what makes me mad about otter pops nowadays is they don't have the otters on the wrapper i agree and they i don't feel do like they're as wide no they've they're they're definitely smaller but do you remember how like you'd finish it and then if you left it out the otter would shrink the wrapper would kind of like shrink oh, a little that's bit that's awesome yeah i remember like in the end and drinking it mm -hmm. i want them mm -hmm. like as, oh i want them like as hmm all right I gotta try the blue one now. This is good, man. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna say of all the things that we've had, it comes down to the Sour Patch Kids mystery and these for me. Okay, I, I can totally agree with that. I, I think I would take the uh, wow, that's money. Watermelon marshmallows. Those were a movie that, as a movie theater three. snack. I can see that. What are your go-to movie theater snacks? I have a oh. brother-in-law who's a massive Red Vine fan. Peter? Yeah, big time. I have a wife, and I've said this before in a previous episode, she's a big time popcorn dipped in nacho cheese sauce fan, which I totally approve of. Hold on, I just gotta tell you, I love your verbiage there, because you said, I've got a brother-in-law. Yeah. You've got more than one brother-in-law. That's true, i got two. And you followed up with, and I've got <laughs> a wife. Funny. Only one wife, yeah. <laughs> only one wife. I've got a wife. That, I'm committed. Um, yeah. Only one wife. 
And see, for me, if I'm going in order, mm -hmm. it is nachos followed by like dibs, ice cream dibs. That's right. Followed by Reese's, Reese's pieces themselves. I'm a big Reese's pieces fan. You know, I love Reese's Pieces, but for some reason that never occurs to me like, oh, I should get yep. some Reese's Pieces. Although I've officially decided that as of right now, the leader in the clubhouse is peanut butter M&M's. They're bigger, Ooh. so it's a little more like when it, when the candy coating hits the tongue, it feels so, it feels mm. so good. Mm -hmm. And then there's a big, bigger peanut butter flavor because there's more of them. It's just my own thought, but I'll take it all. I'm not. I gotta tell you, just as you were describing that, I was thinking notes of peanut butter. Yes. And Ryder totally caught on to that word and just like overused it when we were doing reviews. I love it. I love yeah. it. You know what it's called? That's called us teaching and helping the next generation. Mm -hmm. And that's really what that's we're right. doing. That's right. That's what we're here for. We're here to teach. And that's, that's right. what we're doing here. So, but yeah, if I'm, if I'm ranking mm. these, yeah. Oh, I was going to say real quick, getting back to the movie theater yeah. go-tos. Movie theater popcorn, you can't beat it. I agree. Like, I know it's that's, expensive, that's but you can't. That's not even thing. when you buy microwave popcorn that says it's movie theater, it's, it's not. not. It's, it's not. not. I agree with that. There's something the about fake butter and just the whole the salt, the salt mm. to butter ratio. Mm -hmm. They just have it down. They do. I've heard it's cooked in coconut oil, which enhances the flavor a little Fascinating. bit. Fascinating. I've also and now that I know that there is notes of coconut in the popcorn. Off the taste. Off the think you, of like, that. Look next for time it I, next time. I'm at the yeah. movies. Mm. And then I like to supplement the popcorn, not directly, because mm -hmm. I know our friend Carol has said they like to put like candy in their popcorn. Ooh, Carol, like you, don't like that though. Oh, I'm not opposed to it. I just not, haven't been brave enough to like. I'm more I don't know. of the. I'm more of the. I like that some of the movie theaters they'll have like the different flavorings you can have. The powders. Oh, the white the cheddar, powders. man. White, white cheddar's, chedders my really go-to. Um, That's but a good one. I like to supplement my popcorn with some gummies of any kind, almost. Like, I'm not... It just depends. When we're at the dollar store or whatever, buying candy before oh. we go to the movie theater. Yeah, Just whatever sense. grabs my eye at that, that point. That makes sense. Like, have you ever had twin snakes? No. Gummy twin snakes? No. They're two snakes stuck together, and one's sour and one sweet. And they're Ooh. really, really good. That's interesting. They're really good. So It's that flavor profile really being bouncing well. Yeah, no, it it's perfect. Yeah. Uh, so if I'm ranking, it's okay, yeah, yeah. mystery flavor, followed by the flavored ice, followed by the watermelon, and then after that, it's just all the same. Yeah. Personally. I'll go, I do like the gummy, the mystery flavor. The watermelon is good. I like the flavor ice, but it doesn't stand out to me as being any better than any other, like, frozen Sure, popsicle. I agree with that. I agree so, with that. I agree with that statement. Yeah, it's really a toss-up between these two right now. Um, Everybody go wow. search and buy a white pineapple. Yeah, if you can see what it tastes like. That is so good. Yeah. Oh, man, that's money. You know, one time at Home Depot, they had white, or excuse me, were they, well, they were white strawberries, like plants. Whoa. And they were supposed to taste like pineapple. Not and sure I'm like, I feel about that. that's amazing. So I bought some, and the strawberries were red. Totally sold. False advertisement by the depot. I don't know what happened there, but that's wrong. Yeah, that's wrong. I haven't Mis had very good luck growing strawberries anyway. Mislabeled, maybe. Maybe I mean, but it was a whole oh, like display so yeah. though. So, the, so bamboozled then. Bamboozled. Bamboozled. Yes, <laughs> I was bamboozled at Home Depot, man. Yes, absolutely. Gosh. Oh, All right, oh, man. This is awesome. This is cool. Well, and I, I definitely think the temperature outside has helped oh, enhance totally. the flavor ice for sure. Because that totally just agree. feels amazing. Okay. Well, I guess that's it, man. Uh, wonderful. I, uh, I'm glad you were here. I'm Me going, too. Sorry we couldn't get this all in while Ryder was still here. It's okay. But he's still um, with us, as we know. He is. He is. Absolutely. He is. He is. Yeah, exactly. So, in fact, he's starting school pretty quick. Good for him. Yeah. Senior year? Yeah, senior year. Big one. Unreal. That's a big one. It's a huge one. Senior ditch day. Do we still do, still do that? Are we still down with that? Are we I, allowed to I, do that? I, I don't know how that works. Leave us, t tell us in the comments. Senior cut day. Is that a thing? Is that still a thing? Yeah. You know, from my own personal story, yeah. senior ditch day was one of the few days my senior year I was actually at school the whole day. That's kind of funny. It, it, because nobody was there. It was amazing. 
makes sense. It was right? worth being at school because there was just that nobody makes there. Sense. That it makes was, sense. It was interesting. That makes sense. It's entertaining. Entertaining. We didn't really do order. anything anyway. We watched movies in most of my classes. Because so. there in. was nobody there to do anything. Yeah, it makes sense. I'm in. Yeah. And until next time, be excellent to each other. See ya. You filthy animals. Sorry, right? Go ahead. See ya. You know, sir, it's Cousin Ryan and the Hollywood Bully Bar. You know, sir, he's bigger than any superstar. All of us spit you some, some real to a bar. Some of them sweeter than any chocolate bar. Boom! Hey.